What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. Holy shit. Holy shit. Why couldn't this happen on a better year? But we actually won the lottery with that Columbus pick who they that was a very low chance for them to win the lottery. I mean, they just missed the playoffs. But holy crap, we just won the lottery. <laughs> And then we also have the fifth overall. So, you know what? Maybe as a blessing in disguise for that Chicago pick and the other one to fall out. Because, holy crap, man. We just won the first overall pick. Is this a new thing where I'm, I'm allowed to win the lottery now? Holy. I know it's not with my pick, but I won the lottery. This is like twice in two different series. Which is pretty nuts, man. I mean, considering I think last year, I don't even know if I won. Damn! I don't know, but I'm excited, guys. We just got the first overall pick as well as the fifth overall. And I know this year's not insanely strong drafting, but we don't have to move up anymore. I was thinking I might have to package some assets together and try to move up, but I don't think I will now. We can get that first overall. Holy crap, guys. This is... This is this could be big. I mean, this could really help catapult us. Of course, it'd be great to get it on, you know, a year with a franchise player incoming, but unfortunately, there's no one like that. Let's see. Yager. Okay, good. Yeah, he did retire. <laughs> I was like, what if he didn't? Oh, no! One point shy of 2,000? Oh, man. We could... Oh... If I knew he was that close, I would have played a fucking game and made sure he got 2,000 points. Oh, rip. Damn, man. Oh, that that's a bit unfortunate. I'm sorry, Yager. <laughs> One point shy of 2,000. I feel like a complete dick now. Whatever, though. Again, look good career for you as well. No goalie retirements. All right, now let's check out the rest of the league. Holy crap, man. I'm so stoked for this draft. But I, I got to check out the retirements first. Got to do the due diligence. Uh, Vermette goes. Phil Pula. Okay, Shamara at age 40. Good job hanging in there. Decent career for you. All right, yeah, most of the other stuff is not. Yeah, nothing major here. Marcel Gotch. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, That's about it. How about any goalies? We got any goalies biting the dust? Uh, No one really. Yeah, no one really. All right. So that takes care of that. I didn't have to go back to there, but whatever. All right, there's the retirements. Uh, I'm going to edit this trade block. I might as well just remove everything because I'm going to do that anyway. They want they got my seconds on the block here. I wouldn't mind trading those seconds, but I want to see what's available first. I'll make the trades here. Thank you very much, Mr. Assistant Coach. I might. I, this is like one of the rare times I'm actually clearing all this stuff off before so I don't bitch about it during the draft. Oh, but before we get into the draft, that's right. Before we got, a, <laughs> we got an announcement to make. About the contest. Now, no one won technically, but I'm giving creativity points away here to Hazmatic Chaos, who went back and edited his comment. <laughs> I'm not too sure why you put that last bit in there, but um, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> all right. Anyway, now we can start the draft. Better luck to you all ne this next year. But yeah, that was a weird year. I, know I was not expecting Kane to be at the top there. And who expected Ekman Larson to be in the top there in this first year? It usually, it usually doesn't happen until the Coyotes, you know, get pretty good. But I mean, I guess they're I guess they're starting to come together. Usually 2020, 21 is when they start really, really coming in their own. All right. Anyway, uh, what do you guys say? You guys just want to start the draft? I think it's a good time to start the draft here. First overall selection in the 2000. 18 draft so let's see what's here i'll call timeouts if i need to but we did get luckily we got most of the top stuff scouted pretty damn well i mean there's a center sniper here or a center playmaker or this center playmaker now it's looking like the sniper is the best option it's hard to tell. Like, it's it's a very weird year, but with the way the stats are, the green. Like, this guy's top six. He's obviously not going to be much. Um, but then on the other hand, this guy's looking really, really good with that 81. I think, hmm, it's tough to say. I think it's between Tanev and Clemenson. But I think it might be Tanev. Ah, I don't know. It's It's really tough to say. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's insanely close. 
It really is close, but the only white stat this guy has is discipline and acceleration. And as a sniper, his shot with the green, it's looking lower, man. I think Tanev is a selection, but these guys are all like really close to each other. The only reason I'm kind of iffy about this guy is like, while his green passing is higher, which should mean his awareness should go up towards towards it to meet it, it's no guarantee. Like, and and the thing is, these guys are all gonna still take a while to develop. Yeah, it's it's really weird this year. It, it is very weird, and all these guys look so similar that I I'm just not sure. But I think Tanev might be the best selection here. Don't quote me on that, but I, it's really weird. I usually get these guys scouted better. I mean, 75, yeah, I think it's Tanev, and he's he's shorty, but hell, I think he's the right selection. Ah, uh, it's tough, it's tough to call, man, either way, it's, it is really tough to call, but I do think he's the best selection. I could make the wrong selection here, but the scouting isn't 100% on these guys, like, we really didn't get much scouted, I'm, I'm looking at this guy's, you know, 73 white for defensive awareness, 75 white for accuracy, then we go over here onto this guy, no white stats, that sucks, but... All the green stats, I like the green, the passing is what it's giving me, 81, like, it only really only goes down a couple usually, so, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna say Tanev is the pick, I could be wrong, but that's the pick I'm going with, <laughs> 67 to start off with, wow, this was insanely weak, look at this, man, look at what we had to fucking work with here, that sucks, like, this is what we get the first overall pick on, <laughs> well, we got him, 67 or all, taking a while to develop, I wish, yeah, it, it's great that I won the first overall. Like, don't get me wrong. That's awesome, but man. <laughs> yeah, he, this guy will develop very well, and he's Canadian. He can play juniors, but uh, definitely not the best. I wish I, wish I could have saved that lottery win for another year. But them's the breaks. When I, <laughs> the times I get to win the lottery, there's never a franchise guy. All right, well, let's see what goes on in the rest of this top five here. Yeah, the sniper was slightly better than him, but I did, I did, so I did make the right selection, but there wasn't much there. Okay, so the top six, oh, actually, we might actually get a better guy here. Or am I, am I, I could be wrong on this. I might want to move this pick back. We'll see. If this guy's not guaranteed elite, I might actually move this pick back. Um, no, he's guaranteed top six, which ain't bad. I mean, he's going to be decent, but he's pretty low overall. And in the grand scheme of things, the, the value on this pick. I mean, I can get a top six sniper over here, you know. We already have enough top six guys. I mean, top six in the top in the top five. Like, how, this is such a bad draft. It's, it's really unfortunate how bad this draft is. I mean, I can pick out of order and grab a defenseman. But, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what our situation is. We did just get Jet Wu. It's another top four, man. We need elite defenseman is what we need. I honestly might move the pick back. As crazy as that would be. I am kind of leaning towards moving the pick. So I might. And our other picks are what? Uh, 16th, 18th, and 26th. Like, those aren't bad. I, we might be able to find something there, but... Mm. I mean, yeah, uh, not a great draft year. It's really shit. <laughs> really unfortunate how bad this draft year is. I mean, that's your first overall. That is god. I've never seen anyone that low. I don't think for first overall. I, they're usually always in the seventies. That is really bad. So, <laughs> I right, let's see the value on that fifth. Should be actually pretty damn good, right? So, yeah, that's pretty damn good value I'd love to get like well I just don't know what I can get for this a lot of people seem like they want it but I'd have to like get a really top prospect for me to feel like this is worth it you know And I'm not seeing that. Yeah, they're not going to want to give up anyone. They got that. They drafted that Strumbu guy. They got that Bogfist guy um, last year. This is the defenseman, right? 
Yeah. Swedish defenseman, 74. Doesn't look like he grew too much. Or no, he was drafted 7th overall. Yeah, he actually grew quite a bit. Oh my god, look at that off those offensive stats already. This guy could be a really, really good number one guy. I don't think I could grab him, though, for this pick. Uh, no, definitely not. No, it's not high enough. So we need to still throw in more value. Which wouldn't be too bad, but let me hold off on that idea for now. Just to see... What's looking like available in the first round area? I'd see, like, if if there's someone there who I want to pick. I mean, I'll hold on to, like, the, the 16th, probably, because that's obviously closest in there. I could probably grab, you know, foot or something like that. You know, I think this guy's green top six, although he might go 15th. But if I can grab him, that'd be nice. Some of these other guys I can grab. You know, guaranteed top six sniper. You know, we can, we can get stuff here. Um, there's also a goaltender who I might want to take a look at. So I could grab him with the 26th, right? Well, maybe not because, yeah. Because usually... All right, so we're on the 5th here. Everything after the top sense. we got 11, 12, 13, 14. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, so 24. And we have the 26. Would guarantee ourselves that goalie. And there's no guarantee that this guy's going to be, a, you know, elite. He could be a freaking starter. But I think we need to grab attendee. Uh, yeah, this looks like a decent year to at least grab attendee. I know we don't... We're not really, uh, I mean, what am I trying to say? We don't have any tendies, basically. So that's kind of why I'm leaning towards that. And with not a strong other part, with the other uh, parts of the draft not being as strong, I'm thinking that could be it. So what we're probably going to want to trade for that is the 16th and the 5th overall for that one guy, if we're going to do that. Or, no, no, 18th. The 5th overall and the 18th for Bockfist. If we can make that go through. We know uh, Colorado wants to draft. So they want the picks. And if they want this fifth overall, they're going to have to pay me. And in the form of that defenseman. I mean, the, that guy's the, his offensive stats are already insane. I think this guy could be an absolute fucking stud. Like Norris stud, man. So that's why I kind of want to go after him. 74 at 18. Like he's, he's, he's going to get up there quick. So that's that's the reasoning behind that. So what I'm going to try to do here is throw in that 5th and the 18th. Those are the two that are going to go. We're going to keep the 26th for that goal. Or, no, we kind of have to move that up, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we could pick up with the 18th. Yeah. I mean, I can move that up maybe. But let's try with the let's try this. The 5th overall and the 26th for this guy. I still probably have to give up the 18th. But we're going to see what they say to that. Woefully insufficient. Yeah. Oops, I didn't want to remove that one. Whoopsies, so let's do the 5th and the 18th now. I don't want to give up that 16th. Oh man, still woefully. I might not even be able to get this. Like at all. I could throw that 2nd in there. Yeah, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. I don't think there's much there. I mean, the odds are that goalie doesn't get picked, but at the same time... Mm. Let's try these. Let's try the 26th and then the 34th. Not where it needs to be at all. Okay. Well, we got to give up a bit more then. What, what can we afford? Can we really afford to go much else? I mean, at this point, maybe Spurgeon. I mean, we're rebuilding. We held on to his value. They want him. They can use him. That We're giving him, making him give up a defenseman. Let's throw Spurgeon into this deal. And I can even retain if they really want me. I mean, they won't need me to. But I could to help the value along. Yeah, all right, let's try this now. The fifth overall, 26, the second, and then Spurgeon as well for this guy. Wow, still not. Uh, uh, we're getting into the overpaying territory, but this guy is, I'm telling you, man, this guy could be amazing. I'm just looking at him like his offensive stats are out of this world. I mean, I don't have to rush it, but I want to move this pick anyway, this fifth, I think. It's not worth just getting a top six for that value. Damn, man. All right, let's try with the 18th in there, but I'm not going to go any higher than that. Let's try that. That's a lot still, but let's see what they say. Uh, Valuing the table's too far off. Just give me a hint. Like, am I getting closer or, or what? And we don't have any other cool value to really throw in. We only we don't even really have any junk guys. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we just have, I don't quite think we have the assets to make this trade work. 
I can try with the 16 instead, but I I don't really think that'll work either, man. We'll see what they say to it, though. Too far off. I don't know, man. I can't. I don't really want to give up much more. This guy's so good, though. And he's a righty, which is fucking perfect for us. It's so hard to find good. Mm. All right, all right, all right. What else? What else? What else? What's, what can I do here? How many seconds we got next year? Only one. Let's try chucking in a third from that year. There we go. Okay. That is a lot to give up. I'm not going to lie. But from this draft, it is inflated value. And that guy is going to be a fucking stud. Like, he's already got 88 awareness at 74 overall. Like, he's going to get into the 90s with that offensive awareness. And when he makes... Yeah, it, uh, I think his development is going to coincide perfectly with, our, with the way our team's uh, going to be coming. So, it's a lot to give up. Don't get me wrong, man. Giving up the 16th overall, you know, the 5th overall, plus a 2nd. Yeah, it sucks to give up all that. And Spurgeon. I mean, Spurgeon's more of a spot filler. We weren't really going to use him. We could probably just replace him in free agency. But, yeah. Uh, I think it's going to be worth it. Now, we probably weren't going to be able to get foot anymore with this pick. I think he'll go, like, 15th. We could try to move it up in like with some of this other stuff. I just don't think that's going to be a possibility. Um... So let's see what they pick here. I mean, obviously, they should pick that one guy. See so yeah, how they get him. 62 overall. Decent. Those guys are pretty much the same. So, all right. Let's see here. We got the 18th. We should. There is another top six guy in there that we can get. And it's risky to wait for that goalie, but I might. Uh, I, <laughs> damn. I don't know. I could pick the goalie first and then wait. thing about that is then we'll lose out on the guaranteed top six guy <gasps> i think suzuki's guaranteed top six though yeah so we can still get this guy guaranteed top six it's not gonna be amazing but we can still get that guy guaranteed top six if we take the goalie well unless he goes <laughs> before in which case we'll have to blind pick yeah we don't have too much after that there is another there is another goalie here in the second but we did trade our second so yeah let's see about potential here yeah man we'd really got nothing scouted i tried my best but geez we really didn't get much scouted here this guy though might actually be elite but he could also be top nine yeah well i say we sim up to our pick we might miss both those guys but yeah, for it'll I'll I'll see what I'm gonna decide here. Kako went, he was top six. I don't think okay, foot did Ah, Combs did go. He went before foot. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Okay, well obviously we're gonna choose the goalie here. Yeah, I think that's no brainer now to choose the goalie. Because there's no use in, in putting that off anymore. There's we don't have anything scouted right here. So I think the goalie would be the best pick right here. Unless something else jumps out at me. But, no, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, these two guys could be top four. But I don't think that's worth the risk. Yeah. Uh, I know this guy's top six. All right, let's, let's try for the goalie. Come on now, Iverson. Fucking hell. <laughs> What? I've never seen a goalie be a fringe starter in the first round. Holy crap. This draft is fucking terrible. Wow. No, I've ne I've literally never seen uh, that goalie be that bad. They're, they're, they're never below starter. Oh my god, that is horrible. Can we redeem ourselves here? My god. Oops, I didn't want to. I pressed A too many times. So he at least kind of salvaged that with a top six guy. But holy shit. A fringe starter in the first round? That is horrible. That's a god-awful pick right there. I'll take a fat L for that. Ouch. And now if this other goal is something too, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Some top sixes, some reds and shit. No, man. I swear if this other goal is something, I'm going to be really pissed. I gotta see what he is. <laughs> I don't think he's... He'll go soon. 
Man, if he's a starter or something, too, I'm going to be really, really upset. I wanted at least to start. I got a fucking fringe start in the first round. Man, I haven't taken an L that bad in a long time. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, he's a fucking fringe starter, too. Green, but Jesus. Okay, goalies. Don't go for goalies in this draft. Holy crap. All right, so we don't have a third either. Ugh, Jesus. I should have just fucking traded that pick. How was I to know, though? But still, God damn. That was horrible. <laughs> that was really bad. At least we made a trade here. So that's good. But my gosh. All right, time to look. I'm, I'm not going to go for that goalie. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see if there's any trends here happening. See if we can see anything. Any red elite? There's a red elite. Grinder, winger. Okay. Bunch of reds here. Not so many. Another elite defenseman. Okay. Hmm. There's a green back up there. Another fringe starter. Another fringe starter. Top mm, red elite sniper. Wingers. Wingers. Okay, it's looking like wingers. Wingers is looking pretty good. All right, let me make this pick here. All right. Um, I might go for that guy who's unknown. Or, yeah, because he is a winger. Wingers had did look pretty good. Could also go with a playmaking winger, but let's see. How old is this guy? Seventeen, not bad. Eighteen, nineteen for that. You know what? Let's try this guy. Damn it! Red top nine. I was hoping for the red elite. Uh, McKay, damn it. That guy was a red top six. That's pretty good. All right, see if we miss anything. Another red top nine. I was looking at him a bit. Okay, I call him red top four. It's pretty good. All right. Oops. God damn it. Why do I keep, <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong thing? All right, we'll just send him to our next pick here. Anything else? Bunch of AHLs in here. Yeah, that's all there is. Ugh. Really wanted some of those red elites. Oh, well. I don't even have the assets to trade for him either. <laughs> I really don't. All right. Time time to look for the older dudes. If there are any. 19's okay. Looking for the 20-year-olds, though. I don't even know if there are any. What's the worst that could happen if we choose another goalie? Well, he's absolute shit. It's a pretty bad thing to happen. Wow, oh, wow, there's no 20-year-olds. Not seeing any of them. Damn. Well. <laughs> this guy's got high league interest, interestingly. This guy's got... He's older. Uh, there's really... You know what, let me try this guy. Oh, ouch, nope. Alright, I think this is our last pick here. Nick Eaton was a backup. Did I miss anything? Mm, they were all backups. So good thing I didn't pick the goalie, but hey, might have been slightly. I don't even know. Is this a backup better value than the HL? Who knows? Oh, man. There's a guaranteed top nine, but I'm not. I'm looking for the steals here. And I don't think I'm going to get lucky with them because there's just legit no eight. Like, there's no 20 year olds. It's crazy. I'm looking for the guys like that, but man, there's just none available. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, I mean that guy, but these guys don't count because those are actually guys who are, are like made. Yeah, okay. I just got to kind of pick one and kind of hope for the best here. I mean, I might as well almost go for this guy. <laughs> if he was a play, if he was, you know, not, if he was better than a freaking sniper like you know. all right um i am completely lost on this i really have no clue so i'll try another winger and hope for a red elite steal nope nothing wow that was god awful all right <laughs> is there any steals that we missed by any chance highly doubtful but yeah no luck on this one. I mean, we win the lottery, and it has to be the shittiest draft year I've ever seen on the time I win the lottery. So there's that's how that's how it goes. EA giveth, EA taketh. 
But yeah, I, I mean, no one even 70 overall in the in the first like in the top five and then a fucking fringe starter uh, 18th overall fringe starter oh i have another pick oh shit i didn't think i had another seven whoops here it was just going around i didn't think i had another pick okay well one last chance for redemption highly unlikely we get it i mean incredibly unlikely we get it i might as well just go for that guy but i want the steal all right center two way forward come on now <laughs> nope <laughs> nope watch it be a red elite here at the end probably not Jeez. yeah i, I figured he's gonna be red that's why i was taking a chance on other people i'm like it's there's there's really no reason to grab that guy if i can take a chance on other stuff yeah nothing there so an incredibly weak draft oh the fucking iverson <laughs> worst pick ever so we get tanev might be a number one center of the future if we develop him properly but everything else was incredibly trash. We made a good trade, though. We recognized it. We traded some of the stuff off. I was really thinking that goaltender would at least be a starter. Otherwise, I obviously, I would never have picked... Oh, uh, wow. That was <laughs> huge L. Huge L on that, peak, uh, on that pick. But we salvaged it a bit with Suzuki there. But still. Ugh. That, uh, there's, that draft left much to be desired. So, again, not the two years of not so great of draft luck means that this rebuild may take an extra year or so because we just, you know, we're not able to get the, those big game changers. We made a good trade for a big game changer, but that's only one defenseman. We got to hope Brodeen can really catapult himself into a top two. If not, he'll be sitting in that top four. We need a top two lefty, and I'd be, I'd love, I would love a defensive defenseman top two lefty. Oh, man. That would be incredible. So we don't have much. I don't think we have any signing to do. Um, okay, we have. Oh yeah, we do have a couple. Never mind. Um, I re-signed. We got Erickson Eck back. I signed to a three-year, three-point-five deal in the uh, during the uh, the sim in the off season when we weren't playing in the playoffs in that area. So yeah, we got that. But uh, we don't actually have much signing. Met many signings this year. Most guys we could just let go of. Like Hemsky, we could probably let go of. Um, yeah, we could look for more guys in free agency. I mean, we can get some of them back if we want to. I mean, we're going to need guys to play. We, we kind of need guys to play. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Well, Kunin jumped up to 80. Hopefully he gets another jump after the free agency. So at least, he's at least third line now. That's great. I'm excited about that. Good, good, good. Uh, Granlin, he'll probably still be first line. His morale's really down. He's not too happy. He's got one year left. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to want to re-sign. We'll have to see. Erickson might jump up. To, uh, well, he's already his second line. He probably should get a nice jump in there. Yeah. So, I mean, if all goes well, maybe Kunin can play second line here. And then we could really have... Okay, but I'm going to release a few of these guys. Like, Jokinen's going to go. Hemschke going to go as well. Yeah, we're going to release these guys. Uh, Ennis can maybe hang around. I mean, his defensive stats are okay. He's listed as depth anyway. You know what? I really like Ennis because of that, because he's listed as depth. Two years, yeah, I can afford it. That's a really good for depth. We got injuries on all the time anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to grab Ennis now. Two years for depth. Uh, the only thing is now I can't send him up and down. Someone will probably take him, so we got to keep that in mind. Doesn't have that crazy inflated contract that I did before. Winnick might decline, but let's give him one year. You know what? Let's boost him up to two mil. All right, let's see, Carr, I think we picked this guy for the AHL, I'm not too sure if we'll need him quite yet, same with Flynn, we picked all those guys up, yeah, Ferraro as well, we just picked a bunch of guys up for AHL, uh, Chris Stewart is very demoralized, let's see, this Kloos guy, Playmaker, uh, no, he's, he's nothing, bye-bye, okay, let's see now, now I'm going to want to sign this Tanev guy immediately, obviously, he's going to hopefully tear it up in the juniors and grow really quickly for us, that's what we need, <laughs> fucking shitty ass draft <laughs> just looking at our what we got from it at least at least we made a really solid trade we made a very solid trade and we now have this Bockfist guy who is should be absolutely incredible i mean damn he's already at a minor top four probably gonna be a minor top two this next year probably even gonna break in onto the team as well and i think we're gonna hold on to dumba for like the entire time because damn 
he's kind of capping out almost perfectly. If he gets like one more overall tick, he'll be perfect for top four, and I will not get rid of him. Same with Brodeen. I'm hoping Brodeen can maybe catapult into the top two, but it's highly unlikely. All right, um, Riley, probably get him back. Yeah, definitely get Riley back. How long does he want? Three years. Yeah, I can afford that. I mean, he's okay. He's not. He's not gonna get into the top four or anything like that. But we need a, we need guys to spot fill for now. And he's a lefty, so he's not gonna take away from uh, Bockfist as he comes up. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I think three years will be fine for him. Don't even have to decrease his price. You know what? I'll give you three for three. Makes my OCD feel good. And we're not going to run out of money, that's for sure. Uh, Olofsson might be depth or something for us. His defensive stats aren't incredible, but... I mean, could be okay. Prosser's down to minor. <laughs> Stoner hates life, sorry. You can, you can go then. Alright, this guy get out of here. I need to keep an eye on how many guys we're going to have. So, we're going to have Bockfist AHL. This guy AHL. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, he should. Yeah, he's AHL. Um, Wu is still juniors, so no. This guy is still AHL. Runinen's AHL, so. We got one. Uh, can I, oh, no, he's 21. One, two, three, four, and five guaranteed. Yeah, let's grab Olufsen. There could be someone better in free agency, but two years. I don't want to know if I want to give him two years, though. Eh, he's close enough. You know what? Yeah, we'll give him two years. See if he can get that extra kick. Let's give him two years. Uh, Prosser, I'll probably let go of. I don't think we'll need him. I mean, he could. He would do well. Nah, let's get rid of him. I could probably find someone better anyway if I really wanted to. Now, this this guy, I'll probably let go of. Yeah, he's not going to go anywhere. Let's free up some space. Let's free up some space here. Okay, Tendies. Want to get Hammond back? Probably. Cocking we definitely want back. Hallinan. I actually might do something. I might go Cocking and Hallinan in our NHL this year and reset and see if we can get some more young tendies. I might let go. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to let go of Hammond. I'll definitely sign Kokkinen. Only once a year. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll give you a year. I'd rather give you two to line up with Hallinan, but whatever. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what these guys line up as, but I might put him there to see if we can get him to break out. I mean, you never know sometimes. You never know. Uh, I'd rather, you know, I'd rather give it to someone who's with chances to grow than, uh, than older guys. So this guy can be a minor. He can be a minor starter. Maybe we'd have to find someone else to fill in. Iverson. Maybe I want to sign this guy out of spite and get him to grow. No, let's leave him unsigned. There might be someone better in free agency. We can always sign him after that if there is no one. That's always a possibility. And okay. So a bunch of these guys now. Now I'm not too sure what my AHL is going to look like. We didn't really get too much. I might want these guys. So I might sign him off for one year to help out my AHL. In fact, I'm gonna sign him off for a year. So get Carr, get Ferraro, get Flynn. Yeah, only one year for him, but I just I want to make sure that my AHL can have a decent year. Same with O'Reilly, one year for all these guys. Now, if if some of them don't play, then that's the breaks. That's fine. Um, but we're not going to run out of roster slots. We have, we're have we only at 39 right now. Uh, you're gone. So that takes care of that. That's only forwards, though. Yeah, no one else here, I don't think. No other defenseman. Nope. <laughs> Excuse me. And I think that'll be it. Fucking Iverson. <laughs> Every time I see that guy, I'm going to be pissed. 18th overall pick for that piece of shit. Biggest bust ever. <laughs> oh, that was such a fat L. Whatever. I've taken, I've, I've had so many good drafts, man. I can afford to have a really shitty one. Just uh, kind of sucks when we're trying to, <laughs> whatever. Whatever, man. All right, let's advance the day here. This is going to be an interesting rebuild. Definitely some challenges. And it's rejected. Fuck you. I want to play more. You know what? Screw you, Ennis. I'll give you... All right. You know what, know what it's time for? We're going to give Ennis an uh, immovable contract now. 
<laughs> so now if I want to send him down to spite him, I can. I was trying to be cool with you, Ennis. I was trying to be like, yeah, if you know, if we end up sending you down, you can play for a different team. You can get what you want. But now, oh, now you motherfucker. I'm going to overpay you again. Two years as well. <laughs> We're getting him in a pretty much identical deal. I know this is really dumb to do, but I, I, I'm, I'm just fucking around. We need to spend a bit of money. We need to spend a bit of money anyway. We're not even. We're not going to run into any cap problems in the next couple of years at all. I mean, we don't even have big elites that are going to come off in that time. So we're perfectly fine to do that with Ennis. So yay. Now we can at least guarantee ourselves if we do want to send him down, he'll be really good. And he's making five mil, so he doesn't have anything to complain about. Overpaid. Alright, so I think that was it. I think that was the last thing to do. I don't think anyone else rejected. It was just Ennis. Yeah, looks good. Goalies are fine. Alright, so once Ennis signs, we'll be able to go into the free agency and check it out. Probably won't be too, too much. But we'll see. We'll see what's there. Alright, Vance a day. Alright, we got Ennis. Two-year deal of five mil. Here you go. <laughs> All right, now we'll sim to free agency and see if there's anything that piques our interest, any kind of young guys that we could pick up. Last year would have been the year to get the tenders, man, <laughs> if I knew how bad that draft was going to be. Ugh. Okay, well, there's Blake Wheeler. Uh, Wierenski is tendered. Oh, man, are you a lefty? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. What would I have to give up to get this guy? He wants a 5.4 mil. I'd probably have to spend six and a half or seven to get him. Well, actually, no one's interested besides the tender team. We have a lot of picks. Do we have our own, though, is the question. What would we have to give up for Wierenski? Who? My goodness. They, and they'd still have a chance to match the... Yeah, we'd have to go up higher because we don't want them to match the offer. And they might, we, oh, if we took them from them too, we got Columbus's picks, don't we? <gasps> Ooh, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. We could, we could really help ourselves here in so many ways. Yeah, we have, uh, no, we don't have their pick anymore. Never mind, it was just for last year. Okay, then I'm not too concerned. Um, we, in fact, have to give up our own pick. Uh, I don't know if I want to give up our own pick. He's not that, he's not the defensive defense one I'm looking for either. Hold on, hold on. How does he produce like? Because I'm, I'm trying to think about the future. I know that offensive defense should be our number our number one righty. And I'd love to... Uh, I have to give up too much for it, probably. How does how's this guy produce, though? Looks not super defensive, but not super offensive. Hits a lot. Blocks a lot of shots. I like that. I like that he hits a lot. It does kind of seem more a bit more defensive. But we'd have to give up a lot for him, man, including our own first. And if we're tanking, then that's not the best thing. Let's see. Let's see what we'd have to give up for him. Um, it'd be near... Oh, wow. Yeah, it would be near the first, second, or the third, or the the high, the next higher bracket, which is the first, second, third, and then the next year's first. Man, I don't know if that's worth it. I could trade for his rights. That would probably be more worth it with the trade for his rights in some in some way, but I don't think it's worth giving up the first, second. We don't even have the first. We'd have to somehow track down our first, second, third, I think, because we don't have first second third i don't think for this year i could be wrong but if we do we'd have to keep it within that range and then they could still match the offer so let's take a closer look at that so we have a first we have a, we don't have a third and i'm not too sure where the hell that third ended up i traded it somewhere so i could trade for the guy's rights but that's a lot of value that is a lot i just don't i don't think that's in the cards i mean i would i could trade brodeen for him but I'd still need more after Brodeen. I mean, that would almost be worth it. That would almost kind of... They don't... Yeah, they got him on the block. That's a lot of value. They still got Seth Jones. This guy's 21, man. So young. Man, that... They don't have enough money to sign him. No, they don't. All right, so... 
Wierenski, if we traded for his rights, he's already really high overall. Yeah, we'd kind of have to give up Brodeen. We'd kind of have to give up Brodeen and probably some kind of a pick. Probably, maybe our second. Probably, that's still not enough, I don't think. If we chucked in those two, I'm not going to make try to make it go through. Yeah, we'd still need a lot more. They'd be over the cap. Wow, this... Ugh. I, I don't think there's a way to get this to go through. We'd have to, I'd have to somehow track down the third and then do the whole tendering thing, and we're losing out on so much. Yeah, that guy's really good, but we don't have enough of other stuff to really be making these moves yet, I don't think. I mean, when you look at our team, we only really have one top forward prospect. We don't have any winger prospects at all. Anyone who's going to be worth a damn. I, I think we need to hold on to our picks. That If this was like a year or two after the fact, I would do that in a heartbeat. I would do that in a heartbeat if this was like two years, but I think, I don't know, you guys can weigh in on it, but I just don't think it's the right time for that. Yeah, he's great. He's amazing. 21 too. Oh, there's so much to like about him. There's so much to like about him. <sighs> it's, it's such a tough call. I don't know. I don't know. The, it would take moving Brodeen. Definitely. And Brodeen and Dumbin might just fit so perfectly into those top four roles for the future that I'm really, really hesitant to move them in that in that regard. Uh, so yeah, he could be that other top two guy, and then all we need is Bockfist to catch up to him. Man. I'm torn. I'm torn. Trading for his rights, we could easily sign him. Easily sign the guy if we trade for his rights. It's just to get that, we'd have to go Brodeen. That's just a given. You have to throw Brodeen in here. And then... Coil, Zucker, someone like that. Someone like this. Like, someone with a bit of... I want to hold on to Niederreiter. But Coil or Zucker, perhaps, would be the guys that we'd have to throw in there. Yeah, and even then, it might not be quite enough. This guy doesn't take too many shots, so I don't really have use for power forward in that regard. He's not that strong defensively either. Neither is Zucker, but Zucker was a bit better. And 2 way forward, I think he took a bit more shots, didn't he? Yeah, he took more shots, so I'd rather hold on to him than those two. So that would be the other option, Brodeen and Coil or something like that. It For the value of Wierenski. R R R uh, even then, it's still not enough, and they'd st and they we still run into the problem of them being over the cap. Like uh, ha we, ha I don't know. I don't think we can make this go through. It's like we have to sign the guy. We'd have to take back more cap from him. I don't know if they have like any shitty players with a lot of cap. Okay, they do. <sighs> Dubinsky and Felino. Mm. There is a way to make this work, but is it the right time? I'm I'm not so sure it's the right time. We still need a lot, man. Given it like, huh, well, if we if we could do it without giving up picks, that's the ideal situation. If we do it without giving up picks, then it's it's good. We don't have to look for that, you know, top two defensive defenseman lefty, which is it's no guarantee that one pops up. And this guy kind of looks like he could fit into that role. I mean, he didn't produce a he whole hell of a lot. I don't know where he was playing. I'm assuming it was in the top. Yeah, it had to be in the mm, unless he grew more. How'd Murray do? Okay, really shitty. So, he might have been at the top. So, Jones obviously would have got more points. Then, yeah, 45, 31. You know what? Maybe. Hmm. Well, this is big, guys. This is a big decision to make. And that is a very, very interesting one. Huh. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> shit Wayne Simmons is here <laughs> um yeah wow I <laughs> fuck man I I'm so torn like it's 21 it's not the perfect age but it fits in pretty well it would really help our team out which is not exactly what we're trying to do but if we were able to take care of, like, our top two defensemen... Well, we don't know about Bockfist. We're hoping he gets up there. It's looking like he should. 
And imagine those two playing together would look really good too. <laughs> Artie has 87 poise. Strong defensively. Discipline's a bit worrisome. 61 penalty minutes. Yeah, I don't actually I don't like that. And I don't think he fought. 61 penalty minutes is not a whole hell of a lot, but it is it's a bit. It definitely is a bit. All right, let's let's see if we can com compare him to any of our guys here. Wow, I, I just want I, I know I <laughs> was uh, I know I could probably end this video already, but this is this is huge, and I want to make sure that we get all the information possible before we make a decision on this. So yeah, let's check our defenseman. I, I what, what I want to see is compare him to other like other guys with their uh, disciplines and what they they took for penalties. So this guy's got discipline seventy five, and he took fifty two. Interesting. Why did he have sixty one? Brodeen's got discipline in 95, so probably didn't take too many. But even he had, no, only 20 penalty minutes, so. Wait, did I look at Dumba's wrong? No, 52, I was right. Very interesting. Ben Riemsdyk, 87 for his discipline, took 24. Yeah, it just seems like it kind of just varies. It's not really 56 for that guy at his discipline, 80. So yeah, he's kind of, yeah, I'd prefer a higher discipline, but I mean, if I had a defensive, def defensive defenseman there, they usually take more penalties anyway, so maybe, I don't know, you guys, like I said, you guys are going to have to help me weigh in on that, but wow, the thing is, man, we still need an elite goalie. I know they have Corbisalo on the block too. I did see that, but that's so, so, so much value, and I'd rather, I'd rather get a younger goalie because, you know, by the time... By the time we're, like, a champion team, he's going to be at the tail end of his prime. Like, yeah, sure, he's 25 now. Oh, oh 84, too. Ugh, no. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Yeah, nope. Not, not not that. So, we can definitely make this trade go through, I think, if we if we take back some of that cap. We, if we have to throw in Brodeen, though. I, there's no way around that. We're going to have to throw in Brodeen. So, is, is it worth giving up Brodeen for that? Don't know. That's the question we got to ask ourselves. Is it worth giving a Brodeen? Whew. I don't know. So, big decisions to make here. Very big decisions to make here in free agency. Do we go after Rowensky or do we let him go? I want to keep all my picks. Picks are off the table. I'm not going to try to sign him through tender or anything like that. That's just, that's off the table. I, I, I don't want to give those up. And I have to go find my third anyway, which is a hassle. But, yeah. Let me know, guys. Wierenski, yay or nay? Maybe we should just maybe we should wait for the draft, go for the picks or what? But wow, they can't sign him. So if he doesn't get signed, he's just gonna stew there and be unsigned. We could always trade for his rights before December, but oh, it's either way, either way, it's risky. Well, not risky. I mean, there's 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 pros and cons to either. Uh, either way, we go with it. I mean, you have to give up Brodeen for one, and he's pretty much almost a guaranteed beautiful top four guy. And that's amazing, man. But at the, on the other hand, getting Warinsky would almost guarantee yourself your top two of the future with him and then Bockfist as he comes up. Uh. <laughs> wow, this is the one of the tougher decisions I think we're ever going to make. All right, so you guys weigh in. I want to hear all the different angles. Go, Go crazy. Go crazy in the comment section, guys. But it's going to be a very, very interesting free agency period. There's uh, probably some wheeling and dealing going on. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like. And I will see you guys in the next one.